What is up my eBay selling friends? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to block a bad eBay buyer. And later on in the video, I'll tell you why it's a good idea to do so. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and jump right in. Okay, so blocking a buyer on eBay is actually really easy. All you need is the username of the eBay buyer that you wanna block. Say maybe you have somebody harassing you through eBay messages, or maybe a buyer that's trying to lowball or scam you. All you need to do is actually take their username and copy that username. And then you're gonna actually take that eBay user's name and you're gonna paste it into the eBay block bidders form. And I'll drop a link to that form down here in the description field, and I'll also put it right here on the screen. But basically you're gonna go to this hyperlink and then I'll show you from here what you need to do in order to upload their name and efficiently block them on eBay. Okay, now if you already haven't copied that link down in the description field or typed it in, you can also go to Google and type in block an eBay bidder and you'll be able to find the same page. Now if you're finding this link from Google, it's gonna take you to the instructions on eBay, but down below in the middle of them, all you have to do is click on where it says block bidders or buyers from your listings. Once you do that, you're gonna to get to the form that I've gone ahead and copied down in the description field. Um, it might be a good idea if you wanna use this form again in the future to go ahead and bookmark it on your browser or save it in some place where you can pull it up easily next time. Um, this form I actually have you know, saved in a bookmark on my computer. That way, anytime I'm having issues with a buyer, I can get to it quickly. Okay, so once we're on this page, we're basically going to take that username and we're gonna paste it into this box. And um, there are directions up at the top that tell you you can upload up to 5,000 eBay usernames that you can block on your account. Um, but basically it tells you, make sure that you separate each username with a comma. If you don't put commas in between each name, then it will not work. So basically I'm gonna go ahead to the bottom of my list and I'm gonna go ahead and paste the user that I wanna block. Um, and I went ahead and typed in bad buyer. That's not a real user, but I'm using it for this demo. And um, once you have them separated by a comma after all of your other users that you've blocked or are wanting to block, you're gonna go ahead and click submit. And then if you do it correctly, you'll get a success box at the top along with a green check mark, letting you know that everything was uploaded and you have efficiently and effectively blocked your eBay buyer. Now, when you block an eBay buyer, it's important to note that they can no longer purchase anything from your store. Um, and that is also uh, true for auctions. You know, if you have an auction going and a buyer were to try to bid on it, they can't bid on your items either. Now say that you also want to go back and unblock that buyer. Maybe you changed your mind or maybe you've been communicating with the buyer in eBay messages and you've worked out whatever your disagreement was. Um, you can actually go in and undo it the same way. You're gonna look for the buyer's username. You're going to highlight it and then click delete. And once you do that, go ahead and click submit and any change or any you know username that you deleted is going to go ahead and drop off. It's also important to note that there is a restore button in case you accidentally lose your list of eBay block bidders. Um, maybe when you're entering in a, you know, a buyer that you're trying to block, you accidentally delete everything. If you go ahead and click on that blue hyperlink, it'll go ahead and you know, replenish or refresh all of the buyers that you had blocked. And that's good for you know, three months. If you go back in and you forgot to do it, you know, after a period of three months have gone by, you'll be out of luck. So make sure that you just double check it after you've uploaded or if you've um, taken away a buyer, make sure that you check to make sure that your list is accurate. And there you go, um, it's that simple. That's all you have to do to block or take away a buyer off of your blocked buyer list. Now you may be wondering, why would you wanna block a buyer on eBay in the first place? You know, isn't the goal on eBay to try to sell things, right? And if you're blocking buyers, they can't buy things from you, you know, doesn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose? And the answer is yes, but this tool makes your life as an eBay seller easier because what it allows is um, you to basically close your store to people that aren't good buyers. Um, maybe somebody's being abusive, like I said, maybe they're harassing you through the message system, maybe they're cursing at you, or maybe you know they're a scammer. There are scammers on eBay that will try to scam you. Um, you can go ahead and you can block them and that basically keeps them from purchasing any item with that username. And if that buyer were to try to go in and purchase your item with a different username and you know it's still that buyer, all you have to do is contact eBay and they can go ahead and either cancel the transaction or remove any negative feedback that that buyer may have left because you have already blocked them on their main account. Now it's important to note that this is not a report buyer tool. There is a report buyer tool on eBay and I will make a video in the future kind of detailing how to report a bad buyer. 
Um, but all this tool does is it keeps buyers um, that you don't want buying from your store from buying from you. So if you've had an issue with a buyer that's violated eBay's policies, or maybe you know they've scammed you or done something wrong, maybe they returned the wrong item or, or destroyed your item, um, this will not report that buyer. So make sure you go on eBay or call eBay and report that person so that they can get you know their account noted that they did something wrong. I also want to point out that you know it's generally best practice on eBay to give people the benefit of the doubt. Now before I go, um, I want to let you know that you can use this tool at your own discretion. There are no guidelines um, as to who you can or can't block. Um, it's completely up to you. It's kind of just like a brick and mortar store where if you want to refuse service to a customer that walks in, um, basically this works the same way. So I only try to use this tool if it's absolutely necessary. Like I said, if a buyer is being abusive, if they're scamming, if they're doing something deliberately wrong to attack you or hurt you as a seller. And that can include things like trying to prevent bad feedback, trying to prevent fraudulent returns, and trying to prevent people that are just outright scamming you. Now, if you have any questions or comments about how to use this tool, um, feel free to drop a question or a comment down below and I'll be happy to try to get back to you. Um, the reason why I created my channel is to try to help other eBay sellers become better at selling on eBay. And if there's anything that I can do to help, I'm more than happy to do so. If you're looking for more eBay help videos like this one, um, check out the other videos on my channel. I make new videos like this all the time. So if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, um, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified right away whenever I drop a new video like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best with your sales on eBay and I hope that this tool helps you prevent bad buyers from finding your store. Until we meet again, um, have a great day and I wish you the best with selling on eBay. Bye everyone.